Hello, it's James Briggs here from Greenhouse Nissan along with my colleague Tom Reeford and we want to talk to you about the uh, Nissan LEAF. We've got uh, two models here, we've got the outgoing model which has been around since roughly 2010. It was one of the first mass production electric plug-in cars that Nissan have really pioneered this segment and they've sold hundreds of thousands of them worldwide. And then we've got the all new version here which uh, has just been launched, it's very exciting. But first of all, let's have a look at this one. So this Leaf is the 30 kilowatt Tecna version. 30 kilowatt uh, will have a real world range of about 125 miles between charges. But it's such a quiet, smooth car to drive because you've got no engine in the front. And also it's perfectly balanced because you've got a low center of gravity and excellent weight distribution from having the battery low down in the floor. But have a look inside here, it is such a nice place to be. So inside the Leaf Techno it's got full leather upholstery, we've got heated seats in the front and heated seats in the rear and it's got a heated steering wheel. We've also got Bose sound, sat nav, DAB radio with full connectivity, voice control, it's got everything. It's a fully featured car. Not only is it nicely appointed and a nice place to be, but without that engine up the front and the electric powertrain, it's so smooth and quiet. It's such a relaxing ride. So now over to Tom, who's going to show you the developments on the new model. Hello there, I'm Tom and welcome to Greenhouse and the all new Nissan LEAF. It's fresh into the showroom, this particular one is a demonstrator. If you are at all interested, please get in touch and arrange your drive. Uh, it's an evolution, my colleague showed you the old model. This carries some of the same styling cues, we've got the blue denoting the EV powertrain at the front here, but I think most of us will agree it's much more dynamic in its style, definitely an enhanced look, looks more purposeful, bolder and is really really up to date with a modern exterior as a car like this should be. This is obviously finished in the pearl white and we have the contrasting black roof which sort of loses itself into the windscreen giving it a much more dynamic appearance. My colleague mentioned power on the previous one. This model has a 40 kilowatt battery which means as a driver you should genuinely manage to get 170 miles out of this vehicle making it a great contender for all day everyday travel. Power is also up in terms of performance we're up to 150 horsepower on this one so genuinely more go under your right foot and it goes very very well. Let's take a look inside. Hello there, welcome to the interior of the all new 2018 LEAF. Uh, starting straight in front of the driver with a really nicely bound leather wheel with the flat bottom, very sporty. And on here you'll find all the features. Left hand side does audio controls. Right hand side we've got the cruise control speed limiter and also the pro pilot controls, some safety kit that we'll go through with you in a bit more depth afterwards. Very nice interior. We're in the top spec model here, we've got a nice luxury leather with suede finishes on the seat, blue stitching really does bring out the uh, electric part of the vehicle, ties in nicely with the front design. Moving inside we've got the audio system, nice large screen that'll do for you your satellite navigation, also your camera system so when you're manoeuvring a vehicle into a tight space you'll be able to see right round it via there, all operated off the touchscreen system. We've got heated controls, uh, start stop, heated seats, we've also got heated steering wheel and traditional automatic system as found in the last leaf for smooth seamless driving electric handbrake it, it's a really nice interior a few things that we'll have to go through in more depth is the uh, e-pedal uh, but very nice nicely finished I think you'll agree so you've got the pro pilot set on there yeah it works really really well I can set a distance between me and the car in front and my feet are off the car will naturally slow down to give the same gap, come to a complete stop if required and then drive off all without me having to do anything as a driver. It's a seamless smooth system. That's it, the car's pulling away, I've not pressed anything. 
So that slowed down and accelerated again then, without you touching without me touching the accelerator, accelerator or the brake. Works very, very well. This leaf has the around view monitor system on it. I'm uh, currently just click the camera button, not in reverse. So on this right hand side, we are currently looking forwards. If I pop the vehicle into reverse, we can see the image changes and we can physically make out the back of the car here. Sorry. Uh, on the left hand pane, we've got a little camera underneath each wing mirror, one at the front, one at the back, building that 360 image that we can see there. And uh, there's my colleague's hand. I'm just going to reverse into one of these spaces behind us and you'll see how useful it is there we are the lines are appearing slow down going a bit fast and it really does help you get the vehicle nice and neatly in between the lines of a parking space as easy as that and that comes up automatically as soon as you pop the vehicle in reverse or you can press the button at any point very useful when looking around the car and if you're pulling up against a curb on this near side, if you press the camera button again, it'll just give you a view from this wheel, so you won't crunch your alloy up against the pavement. This new Leaf is equipped with the e-pedal option, and you may have heard about it, it works very, very well. You turn it on by clicking it on like that. And now I'm going to just drive off. What it enables the driver to do is just use his right foot when motoring about. If I lift off, we slow down. If I put my foot down, we go. And it sounds so simple, and it is. You very quickly get used to it. It just enables you to do one last thing, let the vehicle come to a complete stop by lifting off the accelerator. So the further you lift off the pedal, it starts to then apply some brake. Exactly right. If I were to lift off quite quickly, we come to a stop fairly soon. It's all about just modulating your accelerator depression and smoothing along the drive. It works really, really well. I wasn't convinced at first, but having driven a few miles in the Leaf now, I can't see why you wouldn't want to use e-pedal all the time. You still got the brake there. Still got the brake if you need it. Yep, so if you do want to stop suddenly, absolutely hammer on the brake. But day-to-day -day driving through towns in traffic, it's great, I can just lift off come to a nice smooth control stop and when I'm ready to go again push down the accelerator 